how uh, difficult has it been to kind of get past that loss Tuesday night? I know it, uh, that was one you guys kind of felt like you had, um, you know, and you had a few days obviously between games now with this thing being pushed back. Uh, it's definitely tough to come back after a loss like that. We feel like we could have won that game. Uh, then again, I say it every time I'm here, uh, you can't get too up. You can't get too down on ourselves. Uh, we had to come back today, get back to work. Uh, we had a few off days because uh, we had a long weekend before our next game uh, just to regroup. Uh, get our mental right and uh, just get ready for Monday. Jeff Rab Johns. Hey, Rach, appreciate your time. Mm -hmm. um, how important is it for you guys to provide offense to help Trace? You know, he has 30 points the other night. You have 13, but there's not a lot else. How important is it for you guys to get production from, from you and other guys? Uh, I mean, it's real important. Uh, but then again, it all starts on defense. Uh, the other night, we should have got more stops. Uh, we sent them to the line for easy points, and they were uh, converting on those free throws. So I think if we can get away from that, we would have been fine overall. Uh, I know a couple of guys struggle from the field, but uh, they're in the gym working, uh, and hopefully next game those shots go down. Zion Brown. Yeah, Race, you guys held EJ Liddell to 11 points in the first matchup against Ohio State. What goes into guarding a player with his versatility? Uh, EJ is a really good player. Uh, then again, it really just comes to playing hard, uh, playing uh, team defense. Uh, so when he has the ball, uh, everybody's loaded up on his side, uh, knowing where he's at, knowing what he wants to do, and just scouting. Uh, and then again, man, it's team defense playing hard. Zach Osterman. Rasa, you talked to a little bit about this just in, in general terms, but having kind of this unexpected gap here because the game got rearranged basically a week off, kind of a second bye week, this late in the season, and, and when you're trying to break the funk of a couple losses, I mean, it, do you use this week more for physical stuff, for fundamentals? Do you use it maybe to reset some guys mentally? What's the biggest value of a week like this? Uh, I really think for me personally, it was just mental. Uh, just like coming in the gym, get some shots up, and then again, you just have some alone time uh, hanging out, uh, kind of just getting away a little bit, uh, getting your mind right. I mean, obviously, a couple guys need to get uh, their physical right too. So, I mean, we're in here getting treatment as well. But uh, I think for me personally, it was just my mental, uh, just taking a little break myself and uh, resetting my mind, getting ready for Monday. Alex Belzic. Grace, you mentioned the mental side of things now a couple of times. Uh, from a, I know you talked a little bit about from an individual perspective, but from a team perspective, where do you think you guys are right now with the four straight losses and how do you kind of get the momentum turned back the other direction? Uh, I think uh, today we had a good practice. I uh, just got out of it. Uh, everybody was up, uh, came to practice, ready to go. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, definitely we're down on ourselves a little bit after the Wisconsin game. But uh, like I said, I told them, uh, we told, talked about it as a team, but we can't get too down on ourselves. We got a, five more games left, and we got to come out and win these next five. So, I mean, that's really all it's about. We just, just uh, staying together uh, and keeping our mental right.